Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Game Host in-game tutorial for console commands and CVARs. Uh, this is going to be a lot like the HLSW tutorial. You can look at that one for more details on what we're going to be doing here. But um, we'll basically be doing the same stuff here, just using the in-game console instead of the out-of-game version HSW. Now you're going to want to make sure that in your keyboard options in advanced you have developer console enabled and checked. So hit OK, apply and OK if you don't have that before. If you did, that's good. And we'll bring up the console window by hitting tilde. I'll drag it over so you can see it a little better, what we're doing a little bit better. And uh, first thing we're going to do is get the CVAR list. It's the CVAR list command. It shows us all the other commands that are available with a description of each one. But um, that's for the client as well. That's why there's 2,000 commands. Now, if we want to see them just for the server, we want to type in an archon command for that. But first, we need to log into archon. So we can do archon underbar password, put in the archon password, hit enter. Now we're logged into the server's archon. We can then do archon CVAR list. And this brings up just a list of the commands that are available specifically on the server. So we have 1,096 commands instead of 2,006. Now, going to some of the commands that we have used before, if we type MP flashlight, MP underbar flashlight, for instance, we'll notice it says it's zero. Well, that's because we're querying the client. If we do archon mp flat underbar flashlight, now we're querying the server and we can see that the flashlights are currently turned on. So let's say if we wanted to change that, let's um let's go ahead and type in archon mp flashlight quote zero quote. Hit enter on that command. And now if we look in the game, we can see server CVAR changed to zero for MP flashlight. We can go back to the console change it to one. There it is again. Flashlights are enabled. You can see it working there. And we can do one of the other commands, SV all talk, so you can hear what the other players are saying. And we can turn that off by doing archon SV under all talk zero. And if you go back in game, you can see that the server CVAR has changed to zero for SV under our all talk. And we can set it back to one. I usually prefer being able to hear everyone. And again, in game, you would see that change. Now, the status command just brings up some information about the server itself. Now, we can explore some other commands within that, such as archon change level 2, CS underbar office. And this is changing the map on the server. We'll wait a couple minutes here. Well, my, not a couple minutes, a few seconds. Well, the, the game catches up with what the server is doing and loads the right map. I'll just get in and join a team quickly and then I will continue on with the tutorial from that point. Okay, so we're loaded up. Let's join a team quickly and we'll bring the console back up. We can type status and see that yes, the map has changed again and we are all set to start playing on the new map. Now, we could do some other things with Archon as well that are useful, such as kicking and banning, and as well as connecting to the server. But first we'll do the kick. I'll show you the connect command, and then we'll do a ban command to end the tutorial. So if we look at Archon space kick, we can see what the usage says, kick and then name. So we need to type archon kick and then a name. So in this case, archon kick and then dash ugh dash space demo is the name. I hit enter, I get kicked instantly. Pretty simple. You can close that out. Console's still up. Um, we can do a connect statement. We'll paste in the server IP there. And then semicolon is used when you have two commands you want to put on one line. So in this case, we need to do a connect semicolon and then password because the server has a password and then just type the password there hit enter and we're connecting to that passworded server pretty simple pretty easy and we're back on the server now we'll just join another team and get the console back open now we can investigate the ban command a little bit now so if we try archon ban for instance well that command is unknown 
Archon ban doesn't exist. However, Archon ban ID does. There's also a ban IP option, but ban ID is a little better at keeping people out. So if we do status, we can get the Steam ID or the user ID of the player that we want to ban. So that's mine, so I'm going to copy that. And we'll keep that. And using the usage command up above, so we have Archon ban ID. It says ban ID, minutes, user ID, unique ID, and then kick. And use zero minutes for permanent. So we'll do a ban ID for five minutes on my ID with a kick. And we hit enter. I've been kicked and banned from the game. Excellent. And in five minutes, I'll be able to rejoin the server. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.